What's going on? Back plugged in again. What's your boy the prophet? And so today, man, listen, man, I got a banger for you guys, man. We're gonna be looking at the you ready? You ready? You ready? Boo! The heart character, tearless for Bleach Brave Souls. Now listen, y'all. You feel me? I know y'all been waiting on it. This is a really, really complicated list. There are some characters that are hard to compare to others. So um, just make sure you're mindful in the comment section. And if you're watching this live in the premiere, make sure you save some of your opinions for the comment section after the video is done. You dig? All right, man. So without further ado, man, we're about to get it popping. I hope you got into the content. You know what? Let's get it lit. <sighs> Drop my shit. Back plugged in again. All right, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and Shikai Hyokets. You feel me? Y'all feel the freeze? Y'all feel the freeze? All right, all right. We, we, gonna, we gonna go ahead. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and skip to my Lou up about, you feel me, three tiers. Wham, bam, thank you, man. Everything's good to go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and knock this out pretty quick, man. I'm, I'm eager to get to the end, all right? So, um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start with this Rukia. Um, this bottom tier here, D tier, uh, pretty bad characters. I mean, dude, very bad for clearing content PvE wise. This Rukia has a stamina recovery link. Uh, no bruiser, no berserker. Lunging first, which is it's a bad lunge for a lunge is very bad. Um, her second strong attack is very bad as well. It's like this ten hit vortex that's like lasts like a second and a half. Damage is so weird on it. Her third is is solid, but. Her, her soul bomb solid at least, but yeah, very underwhelming character. Um, Hamadou and the emo twins, Shizuku, I believe is the other girl's name. Um, they're going to clear content faster than Odehime because they have a better killer. Um, weakening on everything, and she's range in their melee. However, Odehime is a very good link. Um, yeah, 20 DR link, that's pretty much it. You definitely shouldn't be using her for clearing content. And if you are, I feel bad for you. Uh, this Stark, he has that um, good old melee collision, range collision split. On his first strong attack, the second is a 550 uh, radius around him. Pretty standard for the for these times back in those days. Uh, and his third is full screen. Um, hollow killer, strong attack damage link. No ailments or anything like that. Uh, this Noitora was like, he's kind of a laughable character. He was bad when he came out. Um, his his first strong attack is range collision. It's good for Senkai Mon, though, when you have to, like, call, when you're, like, half, you get a boss rush phase and you got to afflict uh, burn. Uh, this Noitora is pretty good for that. Um, all his strong attacks and his normal attacks have a chance to inflict burn on you. And, uh, yeah, his third is a charge attack, so it does hit harder than your average third strong attack. Um... Yeah, but his first makes him like a joke. Um, this Luffy is a pretty solid unit, to be honest. His biggest weakness is his third strong attack. Um, he has process on everything. Lunging first, I would say it's a like A or B tier lunge, like a B tier lunge. Um, his second is a beam, so seven uh, seven twenty five radius. I mean, pretty solid second essay, but his third isn't full screen, 900 radius. This Gein actually has a better kit than Loopy, I would say. Um, his he This Gein has Havoc, so he has more radius on his first and his third. This Gein has a 1200 radius third strong attack um, with Frenzy. So that was actually, bro, back in the day, he was so busted. But his Soul Bomb, dude, is only 900 radius. Even with 30% Blast Zone... Uh, it's 1300 radius and full screen for a soul bomb is 2000 radius. So it's still lacking a lot. His soul bomb really, really hinders him as well as his link. If he somehow gets, um, if he somehow gets a strong attack recharge link, 
uh, for his second link when he gets resurrected. He could still be pretty good, but it's so bomb to hold him back. Uh, this Veruca, both of these two actually have range collision first strong attacks. Uh, this Veruca, however, has a better second strong attack, being that it's a, a, a lunge forward. Um, and a full screen third with uh, no affiliation killer. This Ruka definitely has a better killer. Um, oh, Jesus. Uh, but, um, and this is Halloween Ruka. This is Kakao Society Ruka. Um, Halloween Ruka has a, she has Soul Reaper killer. And I'll say she has a better first strong attack between the two. But this Ruka has a way better second. Hers is range collision. So this Ruka has two range collision moves. One being a first and one being a second. And her second is the same as like Kakao Society Biakia. Um, and I love her third. It looks has a very cool animation. What's her Reaper Killer? Um, this Ishin has the best first attack in the game without Havoc. Uh, the Beam, first strong attack, 725 radius. But the second is all range collision. And uh, yeah, it just makes him feel really like not smooth. Um, he has a decent kit, but his second really, really holds him back. So does his Link, which is um, uh, Last Ditch Survival. So, now this Mashiro, she has a good first. Her second is a boost move, standard boost move radius. Uh, and her third is really slow, not under radius, full, uh, not even full screen. Um, but she does have infinite boost possibility. Um, this Grimjow, range, collision, first strong attack. 550 second strong attack very common but very bad not very bad but very common but very mediocre because it at least is a uh, melee collision it's not range collision but it just doesn't really affect a very wide area and if you do it there's still going to be uh, enemies left on the on the on the field in front of you like right in front of you <laughs> but um starts charge strong attack damage link um like i said his his First holds him back a lot, bro. If he had a regular beam first strong attack, not a range collision beam first strong attack, he would be considerably better. But he doesn't, so yeah. We're gonna go ahead and move on here. Uh, so this tag team Kita has double killers, Hollow and um, Arankar with weakening on everything. Lunge first, beam second, 900 radius third strong attack with the DR link. If he had a full screen third and a recharge link, he would still be very good to this day. Um, but he slept on because he does have a very good second strong attack, especially for the time he came out and have double killers. This Gein does have, um, he does have a Berserker, but he has a uh, range collision first and a vortex and a full screen third. So, and all these characters, actually, right here, um, Udiu, Halibel, and Kaname, they all have range collision first and uh, vortex second strong attacks. So, they all kind of group well together. He's the only one with Berserker, though. But out of all these characters, this Udiu is so overpowered for Guild Quest because of the magnifications of his charge attack. And if you can get close to the enemy, you can absolutely spike their face for damage. It hits for, like, three for like three soul bombs worth of damage. And if you have him max transcended or even level two, even if, if you're working on his transcendence, he's gonna clear epic raids like an insane man. Like I'm telling you. Burn on everything so he is good for those Senkaimon on floor that you need to um to afflict the enemies with uh, burn or poison. So he's got that going for him as well. How about range collision? Range collision uh first, um vortex second. Same with Kaname. Kaname does have Havoc. Um, I would love to say Kaname over her, for real, for real. I ain't gonna cap. Because his third is a little bit larger, and his Vortex is larger. Um, and I would even say his first is better, to be honest. So, I'll put Kaname over her. I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, let me know how you feel about that in the comment section. Um, but yeah, Kaname does have a 1080 third, so it is a little bit longer than full screen, weakening on everything. And I do think he has a better first than her. Um, between these two, though, Yami does have um, a hollow killer, so that's going to make him really good for, like, inheritance zone solo player, not co-op. Um, uh, and burn on everything with burn immunity. This Kida, he has a big problem breaking guard. His first is range collision. His second strong attack is a heal boost move, so it doesn't. Um, it's it's 
a, a melee collision move or it's a melee oriented move not a range oriented move so he cannot break guard with second strong attack can't break guard with second strong attack only his first so he really struggles with that um as far as clearing content but he's still solid though because he's a flurry unit with the boost and the heal um yeah man but not having not being able to guard break with a second strong attack really holds him back if he would have to have guard break he'd be much 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 better for pve all right moving up to s rank so i feel like these three are could kind of be like a little bit interchangeable to be honest um but i do believe out of other yoruichi is best uh, yoruichi has a lunging for a strong attack with 14 recharge and um she has four flash steps so she's twice as fast as a uh, your average unit um so reaper killer neutral attribute well obviously i have neutral attribute but so reaper killer um and she has a boost move with 14 recharge so she can infinitely uh boost her teammates and herself um yeah uh just very solid unit um no berserker but she does have bruiser yeah man she's a very good unit and uh i think she is a top 10 heart unit as it currently stands um then after that heart toshiro has basically the best first strong attack in the game which is the beam i still think flyzen's first strong attack like like let me just put this on the record i still think overall right i still think flyzen has the best first strong attack but he no one else has it like no one else has it they don't give out that strong attack anymore so if they made flyzen's first strong attack more common i would say that that would be the best first strong attack especially if a unit could have havoc with like a flyzen-esque lunge other than a flyzen-esque lunge a beam is the best first strong attack all right that's my personal opinion um but yeah so when i say first strong best first strong attack I'm not really including flies and just so y'all know. Um, but yeah, so being first strong attack, uh, guard break, she does have berserker. Um, her second though is range collision and melee collision. Uh, her third is the uh, 975 radius, same as zombie Tosh, same as mind Ichigo, um, uh, same as um, a lot of other units that are very, very, uh, can't fear and word Nelly L, just to name a few. Um, very good third strong attack um, Her biggest weakness though is our killer which is non affiliation. So yeah, uh, this Renji TT Renji his biggest thing for me is his first strong attack uh, It's has the same AOE as a lunge, but he doesn't move forward So just like a like it's like a, a tube around him. You know what I mean? It is range collision So it's gonna kill enemies very fast, but you got to be right up on them um, to, to get the max damage out of it with that one. So he does have a very good uh, second SA, uh, 750 radius, and it's pretty wide as well. And his uh, charge third strong attack um, hits for insane damage. And, uh, yeah, double killers. So, this Rindy's very good. Um, Murder Moms, man, she's a very good unit. Great Nad. Lunging first. Lunging kill move second. Full screen third. Healing Soul Bomb. Um, it's very great for autoing overall, but not co-op unless you're autoing co-op <laughs> with the team. It's autoing co-op. Other than that, yeah. But move on, Ichigo. His biggest flaw is that he does not have um he doesn't have devastation. It's havoc. With well, devastation is forty percent extra damage to your soul bomb, so he don't have no multiplier on his soul bomb, um, which is just not good. It's just no bueno. Um, his havoc. A lunging first and a lunging second in the 1080 third with hollow killer 14 recharge if he had devastation he would be a top tier unit still I, I really do believe that um definitely definitely worth getting dupes of very fun to play so um yeah yeah man you guys let me know but um boo all right so uh all right so i'm gonna go ahead and go over the things about tokinata um because it's not like, people used to think it was just a couple of things about Tokinata that make him so overpowered. I'm going to go over the 15 things that make Tokinata overpowered. Pretty sure I can name 15. Yeah, so Ripper Killer was Flurry. 40% Bruiser. Melee Collision Normal Attack. 
which means he swings one time and it's going it's chewing through however many enemies are there they're all dying as it goes past them it's not pushing no one back they're all dying okay guard break all right that's only five things right um boost second strong attack that is actually a projection so he doesn't just sit there and boost and be stagnant. He, it's actually a move that you can use to vortex enemies and kind of trap them in. So you can use the second strong attack. It's it's a usable second strong attack, right? Um, uh, uh, um. Then when he transforms, all of his strong attacks recharge. He has enhancer. Um, he gets extra damage when he when he transforms as well. And, bro, he basically has, like, the best Nash string that you can have in the game right now. I don't know a better Nash string um, than his type of Nad. Like, he just so busted. Um, and, like I said, man, he can be used as a hybrid. I mean, dude, like, it's just not one thing about this character. It's uh, all these combinations of things, refilling strong attacks. And after he uses his soul bomb, he, he takes other people's moves that, that it changes his strong attacks. Like, it physically makes his strong attacks better. It upgrades his strong attacks after he uses his soul bomb. So that gives you more reason to use him as a hybrid um, and just to soak up the extra damage. If you have him 1 of 5, I can see chappying him and just calling it a day. But if he's two or five or more, bro, you can just put attack and SP on him or or attack and focus on him. And then if he's three or five, go for SP. Bro, I'm telling you, use this character as a hybrid. Don't chappy him. Use him with hollow bait, fortification pill, whatever you can put on him to accent his normal attack damage, his focus, and SP if you can. I would even say you could... You could even equip SP stuff if he's max transcendent because his NAD is going to hit that hard anyway. Um, one of the best characters ever created in the game. So uniquely overpowered. There you go. Make sure you use him, though, as a hybrid if you're going to use him in co-op. Don't come to co-op with a choppy Tokunata. I promise you, it slows it down, okay? All right, so first battle, Kenpachi. One of the hardest hitting strong attack uh, damage characters in the game. Man, this dude has refilling strong attacks. He has a Zeta Pill skill, uh, basically a perfect kit. The only way his kit could be better is if his second instead of a beam, it was uh, the 800, uh, the distant AOE 800 radius second strong attack, like Mugetsu. Um, but he hits literally 65% harder than most frenzy characters. And then when he transforms, he gets uh, like 33% more damage. Like it's insane. Like this dude has the highest strong attack damage in the game and his strong attacks refill and he has basically perfect strong attacks like dude and his Zeta pill skill he's just busted all right um this rukia is such a great unit people think that she's only valued because of her link um that she uh helps you get the plus five iz links she basically has one of the best lunges one of the best lunges it's a it's a standard lunge but it's very 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 good um but she has berserker with it as well the best second strong attack in the game without Havoc, with Berserker, and a distant AoE charge attack with Berserker. Like, which means she basically has a 975 third strong attack, like Mind Ichigo, like Zombie Tosh, like, like Can't Fear in World, uh, um, Sorry for Killer Nelly L. Um, you know, she basically has that kind of third strong attack. With back range and side range and forward projecting with double the damage, bro. And she has Berserker. This Rukia is a tank, I'm telling you. And she has a natural last ditch survival link with recharge. Like, she's a great unit with the best second strong attack in the game without having Havoc. Uh, Sinjumaru is a great unit as well. Um, best first strong attack in the game with Havoc. Um, 870 uh width and um 3000 length back so best first strong attack in the game 1200 radius third strong attack um and then her second is a shield move which is about 700 radius so it's definitely larger than your average shield or barrier move uh, or boost move and uh yeah she gets basically she has a uh, disabler she gets 20% uh, an extra 10% chance to um, 
to lacerate enemies if she has attribute and killer and she gets 20% extra damage while she has lacerated enemies so um, very insane magnification with that I'm just gonna hit very hard when she gets that lacerate to proc we'll get to so much to say about him fan favorite god kit double killer healing in between quests which is just like really really cool um recharge that i mentioned god kid lunging first strong attack best second strong attack in the game without havoc he lacks because he does not have berserker if he had berserker um he would just i mean bro he would be a timeless unit if he had berserker my opinion he would be a timeless unit and he does have three flash steps we'll get to the fan favorite um yeah this grim job is so freaking busted dude 50% Berserker, Zeta Pill skill, bro, 40 Bruiser, Flurry, Soul Reaper Killer, Lunging first and second, like, bro, this dude is probably the fastest Nad character for autoing, and he has Poise in 20 DR, bro, like, are you kidding me, man? So, so great for autoing. Now, the reason I have him under Mugetsu and Senjumaru is for co-op. Like, bro, don't use this character for co-op, bro. Everywhere but co-op, unless he's Mac Transcendent and you're running him as a hybrid. But flurry characters are really slow in co-op. <laughs> like, they are, bro. You get a four Raruka IZ co-op room, that shit takes six minutes, bro. It's not the way, bro. It's not the way, bro. No flurry characters in co-op, bro. Unless you're deliberately autoing with people that know they're autoing. All right, all right. But this Grim Jaw is overpowered for regular PVE content and epic raids. Absolutely choose through content. My Yuri basically has demigod kit, um, lunging first with the beam second, but his third is 900 radius, not full screen. It does have off. Uh, he has perfect status immunities, um, so nothing, he can never be afflicted by any type of status um, with paralysis on everything. So, Ripakela. Um, and I know a lot of people hate that True Banka Ichigo is where he is right now. If he had a natural berserker, I think he'd be higher. Or if he had like a, if he had a flies in first SA, then I could see. But his lunge is basically pretty standard. It looks like it goes a little bit further than your average lunge, but, um, you know, he does have a transforming mechanic. Uh, after he does that, he does get 33% uh, more um, normal attack damage, focus, and defense. Um, so, yeah, man. True Bankai Ichigo. Um, weakening and um, paralysis immunity, which are perfect for autoing. I mean, he's just such a great character. I mean, he's such a he's a great character. I mean, I don't know, man. I just love him. I just love him. I love his character model. I just love him, okay? But I got to be honest. This is where he is right now. And then TLA Soy Phone, our final unit to wrap it up today. Um, or not TLA Soy Phone, my bad. Um, what is it? Uh, well, Eternal Shunko Soy Phone. I was going to call it Makun Soy Phone. Uh, Ma Makun... Shunko? I don't know. But, um, yeah, Eternal Soy Phone. Eternal Shunko Soy Phone, excuse me. Uh, four flash steps with Flurry. Um, and a 20 Bruiser, if I'm not mistaken. Um, a Ron Car Killer, which when she has Killer, she don't need Guard Break. Because, uh, a Ron Car Killer don't have any melee Guard Break. However, in places like Inheritance Zone, she don't always have Killer. So when she does, she has to break Guard. But her second is a swirling vortex around her, which allows her to consistently break guard while that's active, and it boosts her as well with enhancer. Um, she's a very fun unit, and I think once again she's best used as a hybrid if we're trying to take her to like co-op. But for like ER and single player activities, um, and like guild quests, she's gonna be fine as a NAD unit. And uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Um, once again, another tier list. This was a very hard tier list, y'all. Like, I wanted to go ahead and knock this out. Shout out to the homie, shout out to the homie Jens. Um, I actually, actually had him pick what, what color we're going to do today. Um, but shout out to the homie Jens, man, uh, for taking the time to help me look, look over these lists and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, man, help, make sure you guys went in the comment section. You know, uh, let me know how you think I did. 
and uh, make sure you, you, you know what I'm saying, you, you know what I'm saying? Make, make sure you, you're, you're nice, okay, <laughs> but heart's very complicated, y'all, man, you got characters like Grim Jow, Tuki Nada, uh, uh, Rookie, Dead Society, Rookie, uh, like, Senju Mar, like, there are a lot of, like, uniquely overpowered characters here, so, make sure you guys weigh in, um, it's, like I said, probably one of the hardest tier lists to do, so, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and if you're watching in the premiere, weigh in in the comment section, appreciate y'all, <laughs> until next time, I'm out!